Hey guys, it's Kayler. Welcome to the YouTube channel. So today I wanted to take you guys through a logo design. We're going to start out in Adobe Photoshop and start with a sketch and then we're going to move later into Illustrator. So let's get started. All right, so I'm going to start the sketch off. I've got a very small four pixel brush and I'm using blue as my color. So I'm going to start with some nice curves. So something along the line of a circle. Okay. And then I'm going to curve an oval into this. So just imagine those shapes are complete. Okay, and then I'm gonna drop the opacity on this layer and create a new one. And then from here, I'm gonna start creating the shape of my feather that I want, something like that. And then on this side needs to be Curve like that a little more. That uh, rounds out a little too late, so I'm going to undo some of that. Okay, from here it needs to start rounding back into there. And then the bottom is going to come down like that. Just a slight curve on that. And then that's going to go back up inside there. All right, so I'm gonna zoom in a bit, reposition my canvas, and now we need to start adding some cuts into this to make it look like a feather. So, something like that. And then over here, we'll do the same. And then maybe at the top, I'll add something like that. Okay. Um, for the kind of spine uh, through the feather, I'm going to use negative space, so it's going to come up through here. Like that. And it's going to start off really thin, and then at the bottom it's going to widen out. I want to take that up a little further. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to grab my eraser and start erasing a bit. Uh, where is my eraser tool? There we go. I haven't used Photoshop in a while. And let's make that pretty small, like four. And I'm gonna take out that line, because that is not needed. I'm actually gonna turn off the layer below this so we can see what we're doing a little better. And let's grab my brush and fix this. I'm gonna have the bottom of the feather pointed. So I'll just flip over my pen and we'll erase that bit like that so just a little indent and then on this side I have a little bit of a sharper indent like that and then over here there's a little bitty line there we'll take that out So that's looking pretty good. Alright, so ideally this section right here is going to be blue or another color, whatever we make it, and then this is going to be negative space to show the shape of the feather more. So that's my feather sketch that I'm going to go with. So I'll see you guys in Illustrator. Alright, so now I'm in Illustrator and I've just quickly dragged in my feather image and I made it a PNG so the background is transparent. And I'm going to scale this up pretty large something like that and let's align this to the artboard centered up alright so the main things we're probably gonna have to be using is the shape builder tool and the pen tool on this I'm not really seeing any shapes that I would use a rectangle or a circle for in this logo so I'm gonna lock this layer and then I'm gonna create a new one above it let's start with the pen tool and I'm first gonna remove my fill just for the moment and I'm gonna leave that at black so let's start down here and I'm gonna go right along there and we're gonna curve up to this make our cut might have to adjust some of these cuts where I'm using really thick lines 
Some of them may not look as good as they do in the sketch if they're a bit thinner. All right. We'll bring that, see, down there. Whoops. And we'll make that my point. So now I'm going to come down and curve slightly. And then right here, we're going to curve again straight into that cut. That's going to need some work. And then down here, going to do another curve. I'm holding Alt, by the way, to remove this anchor point. So if I hold Alt and click on this, you'll see now that I don't have a curved line. I can do a straight line. If I undo that, you'll see that my line's curving. And let's make the spine of our feather. No idea what that's called, but that's what I'm going to call it. And we might be able to make a full line out of this. So let's try. I'll adjust it in a second. Let's go with that. Yeah, that's going to need some adjusting. All right, so now I've got my anchor point tool. Uh, let's fix this. Which line is that? Okay. So I want this side to go in a bit more around there. And then on this, I don't want this curve so much. I don't know how this point's going to look when we fill it in. We might have to adjust that later as well. And then on this side of this line, let's make it a little thinner. Something like that. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and fill this in, and then we'll make some more adjustments. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to turn off my original uh, sketch. So this needs to be a little bit more curved. So I'm going to drag that over a few pixels. All right. And then this I'm going to bring further down. And let's make this thinner like that. And then on this, I actually want this to swoop out a little bit more. So I'm gonna grab that handle. All right, I'm gonna take my sketch and I'm gonna look at it as I do this. So this is kind of a sharp line. So I'm gonna remove a little bit of that round. I think that would look good if I can click on the handle properly. I'm gonna zoom in. Okay, and let's make this cut a little bit smaller by dragging that anchor in and then removing the roundness. Just small adjustments. A little bit straighter. Yeah, like that, I think. Okay, so now on this, I want the curve to be a little bit more prominent right here. So I'm going to drag that handle down a little less at the top. Something like that. And let's move this anchor point slightly over. Okay. On this point, I feel like it needs to go out a bit more. Something like that. Yeah, we're getting there. Um, on this point, I think I'm going to add just a slight round to it. Yeah, I'll do it later though. I'm going to adjust this more. So I want this point to be out further from that one. Yeah. And then this curve needs to be a little bit better. So I'm going to drag this down slightly, maybe a little more. All right. And then if we make that curve more, we need to take this point probably at an angle like that, and then we'll fix that curve. Yeah, okay. We're getting there, we're almost there. Um, I might do something to this. I might add a point here and drag that out just a bit so it's not so pointed at the end. 
How is this looking? That looks good. All right, so I'm going to add the curve that I want to this. Let's make it pretty large. See how it looks. If we do that, we might need a bigger curve on this side. Yeah. And then this, I'm going to try pushing that out again one more time. Yeah, I don't like that at all. Um, I'm going to try to move this pixel up. Make it a little less of a cut. Yeah, I like that as it's a little bit smaller. Okay, so for the bottom point, I'm going to go to my Add Anchor Point tool. Let's add a point, and then let's drag it out like that. And then on the curve of that, I'm going to try to put this back to normal. It's a little off. Uh, if I do that, I'm going to drag this point over more. Yeah, I'm going to round the tip of this just a little bit. All right, and then I don't like this section here. So I'm gonna make it a little bit thinner on this curve. So I'm gonna bring this point in. Uh, I'm gonna remove that curve so I get my pixel back and then I'm gonna, whoops. Let's try to drag it in down more like that. Yeah, I like that. All right. Um, maybe a little bit more curve on this kind of spine effect if we can. And then I think that's a done logo. Don't like that. I'm going to look at it from a few different angles first before I call it a logo. So let's rotate it like that looks pretty good it's got kind of a, a leafy look as well but that wasn't that doesn't bother me too much why does that look like that let's rotate that back I like that. All right, so I'm gonna call that a done logo. Let's add a nice blue color to this, I believe. All right, so I'm gonna paste in a blue color code. All right, so that is my blue feather logo done. Um, something I might wanna do is add some text. So I'm gonna put logo. And let's change the font on this. Go to my type kit, and let's make this pretty large, so like 200. And then let's actually make this a little bit larger, 350. Grab both of those. And you could do different things. You could center these up. This is just like a placeholder logo, or I'm going to copy that. I want to try cutting off the L with this logo. And then let's put it range back. Whoops. Range, send it back. All right. Okay. And I'm going to go object, path, offset path. Let's try 10 pixels, it may be too much. Perfect. So I'm gonna grab that shape 
and I'm going to first before I do that I need to go to my text object expand okay then I can grab my outline with my shape builder tool I'm gonna remove that part of the L and then I can delete that so we got something like that that looks pretty cool you can do just different things with this this is just for a placeholder logo but I'm gonna call that a done design so that is uh, my creative process for designing a feather logo in uh, Adobe Photoshop and Adobe Illustrator so I hope you guys enjoyed if you're interested in more videos like this let me know in the comments down below I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you guys in the next one hey guys it's Kaler thanks for watching the video click here to subscribe to my channel for new videos every Tuesday Thursday and Saturday if you want to see this channel grow even more, don't forget to share this video. You can click the share button down below. Over here is YouTube's recommendation just for you, so go check out that video and let me know what you think in the comments. Up here is my newest video, and if you haven't seen it already, go give it a thumbs up. I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next one.